As our computers became more sophisticated, even producing color, we got a real surprise. Modems. Now computers could communicate with each other through phone lines. This of course meant that people could communicate with each other through their computers. I had fifth graders writing email messages to famous people they'd learned about in social studies and science. The emails went to senior English students at the high school who researched the personalities and then emailed back to the fifth graders answering their questions in the voice of the historic character. A true visionary and talented programmer, Al Rogers, created a modem-based network called Fredmail that connected schools from North Carolina to California, from Peru to Australia. Rogers ran one of my all-time favorite projects where children, on an appointed day and time, took meter sticks out to their playgrounds and measured the shadow cast by the sun. Then they shared their findings across the network where classes used the combined data to calculate the circumference of the Earth, much like Eratosthenes did in 240 BC. I want to share with you many other great visionaries who have dared to create new designs on how children can learn using computers and networks. A Quiet Revolution is available in print and digital from Amazon or your favorite brick and mortar bookstore or simply go to the newly redesigned http colon slash slash quietrevolution.tech.